Hey everybody, video here for you today. This is by request. I haven't made a video for about a week, so I thought I'd do one today while I have a little bit of free time. We're going to go down to Colorado today. This is a site I know a lot of you have heard about. And I did a video on this place about five years ago in my very first Ancient America series where I covered about 12, 15 places. But this is Mesa Verde National Park, and it's right down here. Here's the location where the ruins are found. Certainly fascinating geology in this area. Stories are told in the land formations all over the ancient United States, but this is a very cool place. Let's go down to the most visited part of the park. I believe it's right down here. You notice that feature right here. There is a structure that some have hypothesized is an Orion temple. It has three main kivas in it. One appears to be a little smaller than the other. But that is just speculation. But let's go down here on Google Earth, see if we can get right down in here. This is called Cliff Palace. You notice it right back here. Ancient kivas, buildings here, still well preserved after a thousand years, 800 years. But that is a good look. And if some of you have been here, please let me know in the comment section. But that is a good look at the most famous ruins here at Mesa Verde. Here is a look at some of the ruins in the park. The standard line is people started living here around 1400 years ago. Then by eight, 900 years ago, the ancestral Puebloans started building these cliff dwellings. These are some of the best preserved such structures in the ancient United States. But then about 700 years ago, these people seem to have disappeared. Here's a look at Mesa Verde National Park. Different structures in different parts of the park were named different things. This is called the Cliff Palace right here. This is called the Balcony House. This is called the Longhouse right here. And then this right here is called the Spruce Tree House. I'm not sure how these got their names originally. And then this pick here, this is on Petroglyph Point Trail. But there are some similar petroglyphs that we see in other parts of ancient America and other parts of the world, really. Here's a little closer look at those petroglyphs, but I always find rock art very fascinating. A lot of the times, this is the only documentation from the people we have we just have to kind of figure out what they're telling us here here is one very interesting mural coming from mesa verde this comes from a third floor room of a rectangular tower maybe an astronomical observation tower who knows but there's just guesses on what this all means obviously three mountains or i know some people are going to say three pyramids what does this all represent they think the red represents the earth, the lighter color represents the sky. But basically, there are just guesses on what this all means. This here on the right could be a cycle of days counted off. Some people say this represents cracks in the earth, but they're just not sure what this all represents. And I'm not going to force this into <laughs> some connection to Giza, but I find the three mountain representation, a symbolic representation, very interesting there. Here's a website I will leave below, Artifact Gallery Wall Painting. This comes from the Thomas McKee Collection, coming from over 120 years ago, when he photographed this room in a rectangular tower at Mesa Verde. There is that room in color today. It says, this wall mural, found inside a room at Cliff Palace, includes white plaster covering each wall with a red plaster border below that is lined with red triangles. These and other geometrical designs were common in ancestral Puebloan wall murals. The red lines and dots on the right wall are believed by some researchers to be some sort of calendar. And I have absolutely no problem with that. I agree with that totally. It says, here's a challenge. Do some research and form your own theories about what these designs might have represented to the ancestral Pueblo people. Although we may never know for sure, there is a good exercise to help us remember that these were real people with real hopes, dreams, a love of art, ingenuity and a desire to communicate just like people today and some people say about some things well we will never know well you'll never hear that from this channel good research all the information at our fingertips let's start figuring these things out in my opinion i just think this is very interesting what did this symbolically represent to these people who found it important enough to put it on a wall mural in this tower here i just find this very fascinating and a lot of cultures from around the world kind of had the same beliefs. Tried to find a few news stories on Mesa Verde. Here is one from 2019, the fall. 
Artifacts taken from Mesa Verde are coming home. Tribes welcome home return of human remains. Funeral objects removed in the 1890s. And here's a look at the ruins of Mesa Verde in the 1870s here. A very early pick. Let's just do a little reading. It says, after more than 100 years in a museum in Finland, the ancestral remains of Native American tribes that once called the cliff dwellings of Mesa Verde National Park home are coming back to southwest Colorado. It says, last week it was announced that human remains, funeral objects from the ancestral Puebloan people, which were unearthed by a Swedish researcher in the 1890s and sent off to Europe, would be returned as part of an agreement between the United States and Finland. It says in 1891, a Swedish researcher, Gustav Nordenskjöld, and I will only try to say that once, who was staying in Denver, caught wind of the lost civilization, the cliff dwellings in southwest Colorado, and took the train down to Durango to see for himself. Awed by what he found, he set out to meticulously document and record his findings. He thought this was a civilization that ought to be documented, that it was a story that ought to be told, said Judith Reynolds, a Durango resident who wrote his biography. In 2006, it says he was concerned about all the looting and black market sales and fearing for the ruins preservation. He started collecting artifacts himself through a series of shipments. The young scientist in the early 20s sent hundreds of tools, pottery, and even human remains and crates to Europe. But Reynolds said words started getting around southwest Colorado that a foreigner was stealing artifacts and cutting into the black market trade. It said while he was taking his last shipments on train for transport, the situation had reached a fever pitch, and he was arrested. It became an international story. Can't break a law that doesn't exist. The case against Nordisch Gold was ultimately dropped, and there were no laws at the time that criminalized taking Native American relics, so it just disappeared. Here is one pottery bowl that he had shipped to Finland. Symbolism on it, symbol on the front there. That means different things today than it did 120 years ago, that's for sure. Here's another website I will leave below, the Mesa Verde Cliff Dwellings. Here's a ladder, I believe, going up to Balcony House. And once again, if some of you have been here, please leave a comment what you thought of the site. But here's an overhead look. I believe this is Cliff Palace, the ancient Kivas. Of course, there are Kivas down at Corral, Peru, some very ancient places in Mesoamerica. More looks at the eight, 900-year-old cliff dwellings. Here, it gives some indication what the features are in this structure. Roof support, vent, deflector, fire pit, other things here. More look at the ruins. Here are a couple more artifacts from Mesa Verde. I guess I would call these coffee cups. Designs on them here. Here's another look at the cliff face where structures are built into it here. But I will leave this link below. It has a video here. Goes over the many features of Mesa Verde, the different ruins in the park, places where you can visit today. But as far as Southwest archaeology, this place here in Colorado might be one of the most interesting places to visit in the United States. As far as ancient ruins that go back eight, nine hundred years, still well preserved. And I'm sure some of you have been here. Now, from what I understand, the ruins on top of the Mesa are the ones that go back maybe 1400 years. They are earlier than the cliff dwellings. Of course, we have the Sun Temple right down here on this point that some people theorize is an Orion temple, but that would have been a great vantage point to watch the stars rise, the sunrise, the moon rise, other things. Great point for astronomical observations right there. That is a video on the ruins at Mesa Verde National Park. I'm sure some of you have been there, but that's a pretty fascinating place in ancient America in a very cool place. As far as looking at it from overhead, as far as the geology goes, a lot of canyons in this part of the world, part of Colorado. But that's another Ancient America video. Getting back on track here after not making a video for a week. Hope you thought that was cool and you all have a very nice day.